change the front pages and they said the site has been hacked and they just destroy everything and okay. can you show you a bit of uh, yeah, yeah go for it. before you called me I just decided let me try a few bit of stuff here yeah. okay. try to see what I can do so I came up with one website okay so we're going on to Firefox here okay this was called I don't know what it's called again it was, yeah. UK sites UK online now this site okay I was able to gain access and I use this tool. Any particular reason why you chose that site, or just, just no? It's actually a random, okay. like complete random. Okay. And because that's actually one of the, the things, a lot of people don't do it to target a specific site. They do it randomly. Okay. So it's even more worse because you know you could have your site there and there's no reason, there's no reason no why they're going to hack it. It's going to happen because they want to destroy it. So you've got special software here. Yeah, you've got software to detect vulnerabilities in the website. Yeah. And then once you detect the vulnerabilities, in this case I'm detecting a SQL injection vulnerability. So you go to one. So this software is basically checking out. So you, you put the URL for this for the, for a site into this yeah. software, and then it, it's got it's a whole just, bunch of things. It just, it just just diagnoses it completely and breaks it down and sees every little vulnerability and every little back door that you can get into and then once you've done that I have another piece of software that you can actually manipulate SQL uh, queries yeah. and you can gain access through SQL injection which is basically manipulating the in a way that's not meant to the, the query in such a way that you gain access to all the tables okay. and then once you've got the tables you can get the client's name, client password, you can access the back door as in the back end of the website. So you could go get databases of clients information if it's stored yeah. in that in that SQL so database. Yeah, here's, here's all the clients email addresses. <laughs> and here's all the clients addresses. Okay, well, there's only one there. And can they see that you're doing this? Not at all, they can't detect it at whatsoever. Okay. So I mean, if, that, if you've got stuff out there, detection software, that can spot vulnerabilities, then companies should probably be investing in that so sort of software. Yes, definitely. And then you can, you can block see the, the reason why I can get in here, because this is using Microsoft SQL 2000, which is 10, 11 years old. Uh, so you have to upgrade and upgrade your security packages constantly, because unless you want to get hacked, you know. So yeah, so, so when they're updating all those packages, they're making sure the security and everything yes. is... Yes. It's fine like that. The thing is with with security packages is it will always be penetrated, but not as much as if it's recently released. Updated. So yeah, updated. You can see okay now I'm gonna go into any table right here. Yeah. I'm gonna find a bunch of information. Go to client. Oh, email. Email. Just take that. So you're just copying his email then? Right? You can actually get into the back end of the website, but I'm not sure how to, what the URL for that is. Got the client's password. Jeez, so it gives you the client's password as well. It should be the password. <laughs> Even if it's encrypted, you can just decrypt it. And it wow. There we go. There we go. Welcome, Jen. You are now logged in. Huh. And you can actually see the client name. But what, 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 what have we got access to? We've logged in onto this site now, this distributor of workwear, promotional leisure. And now, sports what we can do is we can obviously buy things online from this. Through their account that they've been given. That they've been given. Yeah. And if, okay, I'm not sure what the back end URL is to get into the, to edit the website. Now, if you know that, you can just get the passwords from this table I saw here. Yeah. And these are the administrative passwords, what they use to edit the website with. Okay. Oh, flip. And then you can actually... So provided you know the right URL. Yeah. Then you can just go... Use and I'm not a 
not an expert in this, so an expert with this, these kind of tools, you know, can do a lot of damage. You can drop tables, you can edit anything, you can... But this is basically, the software is used to check your own website, to see if it is yeah. vulnerable. Okay. Also, I think most people have a bad experience with a company, so let's say I go into pick and pay and I'm really, I'm really pissed off. You know, I could, um, I'll go on Twitter and complain about it, yeah. or customer service. You could just go in and just do it's something. It's possible, so. it's very possible. One, one thing I wanted to ask was, the big companies like McAfee and Norton and those security ones, plus the companies that have the sort of firewalls for for these uh, uh, for these websites. Yeah. Do you think that they, f for them, their business is about people, uh, although they're stopping people hacking? It is true. I've thought about that a lot. I've thought about that a lot, and I think, in all honesty, most of the honest companies like ESET. I know they definitely don't do that because they are serious about their things and you can see on my computer I got a nice version of ESET Note 32 running Okay. and I love this antivirus, it's probably the best one I use Okay. and um, well, honestly there are a lot of hackers out there and a lot of people that make viruses and all that kind of stuff so I, you know maybe sometimes the, the companies do do it and then release virus definitions for that specific thing and say, ooh, look here, I've, you know, cured this virus first, but yeah, maybe sometimes. So then, if you if you had to get a if you had to get a virus protector for your computer, you're saying that ESET is probably the. In my opinion, in my experience, I would say the ESET software okay. is the, the best. Yeah. Cool. That's good to know. Awesome. <laughs>